Today, we're going to talk about how to recreate somebody using the law of assumption. And we're also going to go over how to do a mental diet. So let's talk about that. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So hey guys, it seems like a long time since we had a video like this with just me and you, the tissue box propping you guys up and me bringing you a video. But that's the video that's going to happen today. So what we are going to talk about today is how to recreate somebody using the law of assumption. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm going to answer some questions. It's going to dive a little bit into mental diet as well as, you know, using the law of assumption to actually recreate somebody. So actually how to do it. So I'm very excited to bring this video to you. Very inspired to do it. Just before I do that, um, yeah, definitely check out if you're looking for any extra help or support or cheerleading. We do have a great group of coaches here. Check out the link in the description below. You guys love them. They're having a sale right now. Every one of them has got discounted prices. So it's amazing. So yeah, let's dive right into it. So recreating people using the law of assumption. Okay, because we know, first of all, that our thoughts create, okay, and everyone is us pushed out, okay, so meaning that what we think and we assume and we expect of somebody is how they're actually going to end up showing up, okay, so when it comes to recreating somebody, you want to start getting a picture of who you want them to be, okay, so a lot of times we'll get a picture of who we want someone to be through their complaints that we have about them, right? So like, you know, if we're always complaining about Jerry being late, then, <laughs> you know, to pick us up to go to school or whatever, then guess what? That's who we're actually creating him to be through that complaint, okay? So we want to start looking at what do we want the person to have? We need to have a clear roadmap as to where we're going, okay? Because our thoughts are going to create that person to be that. Our assumptions are going to create that person to end up being that so we need to know where we're going okay and how we do that right now is we figure out everything that we don't want okay <laughs> write down everything you don't want fine okay this is what I don't want this is what's showing up in my reality right now this is what I don't want and you take all of that and you change it into what you do actually want okay so Jerry's always late nope I intend for Jerry to always be on time have integrity keep his word um, you know to always constantly show up when he says he says he's gonna show up perfect okay Jerry sweet that's who I want Jerry to be now that you know who you want Jerry to be okay and I like to make this kind of simple because if there's too many things that you want to change about a person at once, the problem is, is where, where you got, okay, you've got to keep on top of your thoughts. You've got to keep focused on what your actual goal is. So try not to make it a really long laundry list. Try to keep it as short and small as possible. So basically, right? Like how do you eat an elephant? Okay. One bite at a time. So if you do have multiple things that you want to change about, Jerry, <laughs> then make sure that you say, okay, well, look at this thing is first is a priority that thing prioritize all the things that you want to change and work on the most important one first. Okay. That is by far the most like you know, the most valuable probably piece of advice that I could give is, you know, make it so it is, you know, chunk worthy that you can focus on it because if you've got too much, then you're basically just doing intentions all day long. And what you're going to notice is, it, what you know throughout this video is when we talk about the technique you're going to use with the law of assumption is you're going to have to catch your thoughts so if you have too much that you're working on it's going to become a little bit too confusing okay so I like to chunk it down into a small little chunk so let's say right now I'm just working on Jerry being on time because that's the biggest thing that bothers me okay so let's just focus on that so now what's going to happen okay is we use the law of assumption to start to recreate Jerry. Okay, so we would take a look and we would say, okay, so Jerry, um, you know, we, we would take a look throughout our day. So of course, you know what, every time we think about Jerry, we would say a mantra, you know, what? I intend that Jerry's always on time and that Jerry, you know, is, you know, is has integrity, keeps his word. Okay, so let's go with that. Okay, so that would be like my mantra because I'm good enough, you know, and I know my thoughts create so it's going to happen, right? And then what you want to do throughout the day, okay, so especially when it comes up, okay, is say, for instance, you and Jerry are going to be going over to like, I don't know, a movie or something and Jerry's like, you know, you're worried that Jerry's going to be late. In those moments, okay, it's those moments when you're worrying that you have to get on top of your thoughts and you have to start saying your intentions, okay, because you've got to break that thought process right there and then, okay, so 
this is how it looks, okay? So me and Jerry were supposed to be going to the movies, okay? And Jerry's like, you know, it's it's getting close to the time he's supposed to be here. He's been late so many times in the past that my brain automatically goes, oh my God, he's gonna be late. He's totally gonna be late. So in those moments, I have to start saying, no, he's not. My thoughts create, everyone's being pushed out. I intend that Jerry's on time. Jerry's always on time. He always keeps his word he's gonna be here, okay? And you have to break the thought pattern. You have to stop yourself thinking that negative thought pattern. And it's gonna be staticky and it's probably gonna hurt a little bit the first time. I'm not gonna lie. It's like, eh. like, you know, so that's why you wanna have what you want mapped out ahead of time because, you know, and you only wanna focus on small little areas at a time because I'm gonna say right now, you will get results, but not as effectively if you basically say, okay, here's my list of intentions and you read those intentions two, three times, five times a day, six times a day, whatever. But then in those moments when you're waiting for Jerry to show up and he's late and you don't stop and, and, and break those negative thought patterns, you're actually not doing yourself any favors. You're basically, you know, sitting there worrying and obsessing and, you know, anxiety and basically having all this negative mental diet of him being late which creates him to be like that, and then turn around and do a list of intentions an hour later, you're only blocking that. You're not actually changing anything. You're basically just treading water. You're not actually swimming anywhere. You're not getting anywhere. You're not breaking any of your thought patterns. And that's what a mental diet is meant to do is to break thought patterns, okay? To get you out of your old way of thinking and shift you into the new way of thinking, okay? So what ends up happening, right? So trust me, the struggle is real, okay? So you decide, okay, look at, you know what? That's it. Now, from now on, every time, like I'm waiting for Jerry, you know, he's either, you know, he's gonna be on time and he's gonna come through on his plans, right? So then you get on top of your thoughts in those moments and you have that little mental fight with yourself. And the more that you actually break those negative thought patterns, the less they're actually gonna happen. And then Jerry's gonna start showing up on time. You're gonna start gaining evidence of Jerry showing up on time. And then all of a sudden, it doesn't even become a fight anymore in your head. It's just automatic. Jerry's changed. He's always Always on time okay so basically what I'm saying right <laughs> is if you've been doing a list of intentions okay and reading them all throughout the day but not catching your thoughts in the time that matters when the rubber hits the road so that's either when you know you're you know Jerry texts you um, you text Jerry and he's not texting you back and you're in you know anxiety and worry land okay you've got to get in those moments and start breaking those thought patterns because you know letting yourself worry for like a half a night and then going and doing intentions and next morning, you're only you're only treading water, you will gain some partial manifestations, you will gain a little bit of water, but it's a lot more effective if in the moment when you're worrying about him, you know, even calling you back saying to yourself and having a word with yourself saying no, I need to get on top of my thoughts right now. So your thoughts create, okay, so the more you limit the times that you're having negative unwanted thoughts, the more traction and switch them into focusing on what you want, the more traction you're going to gain. It takes work. There is no easy way out. I'm sorry. There is no easy way out. This is just how it works. Your thoughts create. The universe says, that's a thought. I'm going to create it. It doesn't judge your thoughts. You only judge your thoughts as good or bad, right or wrong, in accordance to what you actually want. Okay. So there's nobody out there going, oh, you know, Ooh, she's been worrying about Jerry being late for two days now. And you know what? I know she doesn't want that. So I'm just going to ignore those thoughts for two days. No, that's not how it works, unfortunately. I wish it did. <laughs> I wish I could attend it to. But we can't change the law. The law is our thoughts create. So we work within the law. But knowledge is power. Okay, so now what we want to know, well, now that we now what we know is we want to get on top of those negative thought processes as quick as possible. We want to eliminate and make the reaction time as little as possible, if any at all. Okay. And the more emotional control that you have over your emotions, the more successful you're going to be at this. Okay. Now, Please, guys, don't beat yourself up for going down a negative spiral. Don't beat yourself up for reacting. Just when you finally notice that you've been there, just, you know what, just move on from it. Nothing to see here. Get back on your mental diet. Like, don't beat yourself up, right? But every day that, you know, look at the, the gains, okay? So basically say, look at, you know what? <laughs> I used to go down that road of anxiety for a weekend. Now I was down to like two hours, like good for me, okay? Take everything as a win, okay? And you're not striding for perfection here. You'll notice that any amount of time that you actually catch yourself and get yourself back on track makes a little bit of a difference, okay? But you know, the thing is, it's not gonna help you, you, you to beat yourself up over it because again, you're just focusing back on the negative again now, right? You know, so it's about going, oops, well, well I've been down that road, so I'm gonna move on. I mean, 
you know, a little bit from my personal life, you guys, um, you know, you guys, I, on my live, I talked about it yesterday, you know, this last week I've had some, you know, health problems. <laughs> I totally manifested. Oops. But whatever, it's done now. The thing is, right, is, you know, in those times, you know what, you just pull yourself out of it, you get back on track, right? And then finally yesterday, got myself back on track, started feeling good again, started getting back on my mental diet and things shifted around like that, like no big deal, okay? I could be sitting here still like, you know, wallowing on the fact that, you know what, it was a rough week and, and blah, 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 like, you know, but that wouldn't get me anywhere. I still wouldn't have turned anything around, right? So when you're ready, just you shake your head, you snap out of it, you just start focusing on what you want again. And as long as you just start redirecting yourself that way and practice that, you'll get better and better and better at it. And don't beat yourself up. You know what? You're doing the best you can. You're amazing. You're perfect. Everything is your creation. You can never screw anything up. Everything's always perfect. So just enjoy it and just start seeing the correlation between your thoughts and what shows up in your reality. And the more that you take responsibility for things that you create in your life, you know, the easier it is to not react and to just let things go and to just start changing them as well. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You guys are all amazing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.